Sorry for the raspy voice, but I have a sore throat. After turning on the network analyzer, or after pressing the green preset button, the unit will come up in the log magnitude mode. Change to Smith chart display for impedance measurements by selecting the format button. The right hand menu items on the screen are selected by keys just to their right referred to as soft keys as they change with every button. Select the Smith chart soft key. Set the frequency range of measurements by setting the stop frequency using the stop button. The unit defaults to 3 GHz, but we will use 1 GHz in this exercise. Use the keypad 1 G slash N keys for 1 GHz, G for GHz, <coughs> N for nano, which is the inverse of giga. Set frequency markers, which are measurement points for the high and low frequencies being used. Select the marker button. Markers default to the highest frequency or the stop frequency, then the number 5 soft key. Set the number 1 marker to the starting or low frequency, which defaults to 30 kHz, by selecting the number 1 soft key, then keypad 30K slash M. Set the number of points by selecting the menu button, then number of points soft key. Use the keypad to enter 1601. 1, 6, 0, 1, then the X1 key. 201 points are the default number of points with 801 and 401 optional, but at less than 201 points, resolution is lost at low frequency. Calibrate the unit by selecting the Cal button. Then calibrate menu soft key, then S11 one port soft key. Three calibration loads are needed an open, a short, and load 50 ohms for this analyzer as indicated by the soft keys. These loads must not just be the right impedance but must be electrically the same length. So although they are physically different links, they are electrically the same. To speed things up, we will use the GR or general radio connectors as they slip or push on quickly. But other calibration connector sets are available, including type N, SMA, and APC or precision 7 millimeter. For the GR connectors, remember, they can be damaged if you twist them, so only slip or push them on. After the correct calibration component is connected to the port 1 cable end, press the soft key associated with the cal component, open, short, or load. You will hear about a beep when all the measurement points are completed. After the final cal component beeps, push the lower right done one port cal soft key. At this point the display should show the two markers indicating the starting and stopping frequencies in almost the same point. The closer these two points are and at the center of the chart for the 50 ohm component, the better your cal data. If you check each of the other cal components, open or short, you should see a similar condition. If any of the three loads are not close to their correct position, redo the calibration. The unit is now ready to measure the impedance of various components.